Hey, what's going on, Philip? My name is Dallin, and I am the marketing consultant and owner up at Iron Chest SEO. Just uh, hanging up out up at my gym right now, out in El Reno, Oklahoma, and that's basically how I got started in this business. Uh, just doing the marketing for my own company, and now I work with a ton of moving companies across the United States. I was doing some research in your area. Uh, and found out that Aurora, Colorado, not Denver, not Littleton, just Aurora itself, has 300 uh, volume searches a month uh, in Google for moving companies in Aurora. Just very, very high volume and uh, a lot of business out there up for grabs, okay? So there's three things that I wanted to go over with you today on how I can help you get a lot of that volume into your business and scale your business, okay? So we're going to go over content, we're going to go over citations and backlinks. And so I'm looking through your website right here right now on uh, Around the Clock Movers. And the first thing, man, the content, Google likes to see anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 words. And all of that, uh, all in, in, those, in the content that you need to have those high quality relevant keywords which I'll go over here in the end of this so along with the content and the keywords you're also going to want to have relevant keywords in your meta descriptions which is in your pictures so this picture it is saved as around the clock movers LLC not bad to have your company name in there but better to have an actual high quality relevant <laughs> keyword and so I'll look at another picture here. Same thing. Okay. I had to stop the video for a second to take care of a customer. Uh, so we saved that one. Let, let's see what we, uh, we got here, man. We'll check one more. So this could be uh, packing, services, storage, any one of those keywords. Uh, but we'll go over the keywords here right in a minute. So that's it on the content and the meta descriptions throughout your website and the homepage. And all that is, it's, it's, it, that's what's picking up in Google's algorithm, okay? And that, that's how you get that search engine. So, of course, I just went to Moving Companies Aurora, Colorado, or CO. And the first thing that's going to come up here is these. These are actually paid ads as well. Uh, very, the, these are higher quality, though. I, I, I do recommend doing these and, and they are easy to get into. All you got to do is register the business and Google. And uh, then these are your typical uh, ads that people use. But ads are getting really tricky these days, man. A lot of people are running ad blockers. Uh, people are, uh, you know, they, they've been scammed before on these, so they kind of steer away from them. And then on top of that, Google's going to charge you that cost per click no matter what. They don't care if you get that deal and if you close that deal, okay? So this is where 90% of the people go. And I know a lot of moving companies, they use HomeAdvisor, they use Yelp. Uh, but tapping into Google is is just a whole other ballgame, right? A lot of people just, and especially uh, people that aren't from the area, they don't, you know, they don't know people around here. They're just Googling, right? They Google those moving companies in that area. Uh, so this is where 90% of people go. And, of course, they're going to pick one of these three that are on the map pack, right? So getting up in the map pack is pretty simple. All it is is it goes off of your citations, and that is just basically a directory. And I bet you're wondering, hey, Dallin, how do I get into these directories? How do I get these citations? Well, a citation is basically just your company name, your phone number, and an address, okay? Right? So, and these directories are listed all the way across the web. It could be LinkedIn, it could be Yelp, uh, MapQuest, it could be, uh, yellow pages, white pages, anything like that. There's a hundred different directories across the web, right? We can go in there, we can see what they're using, and we can get what they have, and then we can get more, of course, right? So, of course, if it's working for them in that area, it's going to work for you. Uh, the next thing down is this is all the organic traffic. And uh, again, see, they're, they're number three, uh, along with, you know, all my sons, which, you know, they're everywhere and they're huge. So they have, an, a, this is, they go off of backlinks here. And of course, they have just an ungodly amount of backlinks, but not all backlinks are the same value. So they may have backlinks from Texas, 
that aren't really, uh, you know, ranking here in this area. So, of course, we got this company again, Aurora, Aurora CO Moving, that, that's one of your top competitors. And uh, so, to getting up here and the organic, it goes off of the backlink. So, we're going to look up this number one competitor that you have here and this is a tool that I use called Arabs. I pay about $400 a month for it and it is just a tool it's not 100% accurate all the time but it is pretty close and the best thing about it is like these organic keywords for the traffic and the traffic value this is what I wanted to show you moving companies Aurora Colorado okay volume 300 there's 300 searches a month in this area okay and then we have a few more like there was a this is that's the same thing same thing same thing just changing the name up a little bit movers so these are keywords that we need to have in your website that way your website ranks for that and gets those hundred right cheap movers Denver 150 so anyways that just kind of breaks down what keywords we need to have in your website and again they're this is what they're using and they're getting those they're getting that volume okay uh we're going to go back here and then we're going to talk about backlinks okay so backlinks all backlinks are is it's their website is mentioned in other websites across the web it could be in those directories like i'm talking about it could be uh in blog posts it could be in like magazine you know the web magazines or whatever it is just their name was mentioned in them and it's telling Google's algorithm again that it's like hey these guys have authority you know they're they're listed here and here and here uh, these guys may have another company somewhere else I haven't really done a whole lot of research up on them just in this area so that's how kind of all my sons and uh, you move me how they get up ranked so high uh, but anyway, so we can go in here, these referring domains, and we can see where they are listed at, right, across the web. So we can go in here, and I got a team of people that can go in here and just nail every single one of these that they have as well. And basically, if it's working for them, it's going to work for you, and then we can just top them off, you know. So uh, find local biz, up, up listings, uh B reviews, you know, that we could sit here and look at what they're ranking in and how they're getting those backlinks and how they're getting up to the top and ultimately get you to the top and get you that uh, those that volume as well. So that was them, and now I'm looking up around the clock movers 303.com. You can see how you, you're you're below them, and that's how you're not ranking. Again, we can go and we can check out your organic keywords that are in your website. A lot of your name, three man movers, prepare to move. You're getting 400 volume on that, but that keyword difficulty is very high. It's 35, okay? We need to keep that as low as possible. All around movers, movers by the hour. See, you don't have the Aurora Colorado movers or movers Aurora Colorado in there to get that volume. All right, man. Uh, and then the last thing, you know, your backlinks. But I'm way over my time here. I try to keep these videos short and sweet. So again, man, uh, I don't want to waste any of your time, uh, and I don't want to waste any of mine. So I hope you found value in this video. If you like to discuss more, I'd love to chat with you more. Uh, just give me a call. My number is in the body of the email. Look forward for here to hear from you.